So a couple of you were interested in hearing what I got at the estate sales in Buffalo last week. So um, this is... Stop it. So, <laughs> the camera's shaking a little. So this is just a small part of what I got. And then I'll go upstairs and we'll look at the other stuff. Um, so there was a house that had two bedrooms and a walk-in closet full of crafting stuff. Um, this I got from a yard sale. So anyway, I, what I want to say is I got a lot of crafting stuff. These are super cute. They've got owls on the back of them and they're fortune telling cards with interesting images. Um, look at that one. Nice. And there's instructions about how to tell fortunes with these cards. I really liked uh, the owl. She, this was at a yard sale. She wanted uh, $2, but she let me have them for a dollar. I got this uh, game of hearts. Look at the cats. Aren't they cute? Oh, so many. These are Whitman. So many cute images. Lots of monkeys. Monkeys and chickens and bunnies. Is that all there is? <laughs> there's got to be more than that. Well, there's got to be another. Oh, the cats. Okay, that's the fourth suit. All right. Eh. Anyway, super cute. I even like the, the back. And it's not glossy. It's very matte. indication of a date. Um, lots of notions. I guess I thought I was going to use this. Oh, I probably will in some collage or something. And this is a needle card that I can use to make a some kind of a pocket insert. This is a tag from clothing. I got quite a few of those. Um, there's a belt buckle, another belt buckle, isn't that cute, it's a nice little size, uh, needle book, another buckle, another button envelope, look at that, I love this. This, I think I got this at the first sale I went to. So it's a cake cooling stand. And look, it has the spot for a price tag. So I guess the idea is this goes in like that. And then you would put your cake on there. Any size tube. Mm. Okay, if you say so. Anyway, I don't have any use for this, so I'm not baking cakes. Um, but I did love the card. And that, won't that be a cute for a little flip out? Ooh, I'll go dye that right now. I've got tea on the back porch. Um, seam binding. More seam binding. That one's beautiful pink. Uh, just some random bits and pieces of lace. Here's an A&P needle card. Uh, woodland flower stationery. So it's got a couple of different kinds of um, paper, writing paper in there. Um, this is an old oil of Olay jar. There's a few eyelets. And these are all like bra hooks and weird stuff like that. So I was thinking I might be able to use those in something, right? Another needle card from the Buffalo Evening News. That one's nice too. Um, 
I got several spools of um, button and carpet thread. I thought these would be good for binding um, journals. I'll wax it myself. This one, this one looks really good. I'll wax it myself and um, also for sewing buttons down. So I got quite a few of those. I got this uh, punch tool. It says Geyer on it. Anyway, that's an oldie but a goodie. I can make use of that. Pokey tool. This is all red buttons. And there's some oldies but goodies in there. Look at that daisy and the ones with sort of like that wrappy effect on there. Now they're not going to go back in. Oh well. Oh, got some doilies. Those are pretty. These ones are silver. And I got a lot of this vintage trim. So this one's kind of uh, old gold, white and black. This is some lacy stuff with white ribbon. Gold and pink. This I've seen before. Um, this one's really neat. Oh, showing you the wrong side. I like the background color, sort of that mustard color. More roses. And that one's different. I got some hunks of that. Uh, another package of snaps. This is mending fabric. Um, I got it because I like the card. And the card uh, likes me. <laughs> Did you ever hear anything so ridiculous? These are shirt buttons. And again, I like the packaging on there. Um, oh, I forgot about these. These are from Pennsylvania Railroad and they're different colors. Please keep this check in sight and take it with you if you leave seat. Um, some of them have like advertising on the back. Yeah, glad to have you aboard Pennsylvania Railroad. So I got a stack of those. Look at this buckle that fell out. Isn't that pretty? I uh, got some reinforcements. They're oldies. <laughs> and I got this card of buttons. That's gorgeous and it's a really nice shape. And I got this dotted uh, netting. Okay, so that's all I've got down here. Um, I'll take you upstairs and show you what I got up there. So here's some of the stuff that I got at the... Um, estate sales and yard sales in Buffalo last week. Um, some of the stuff I've already put away. I, I, anyway, we'll do a quick handheld haul. <laughs> um, got this old record book. It does have, it's got some Italian in it actually, um, but there's still lots of empty pages in there. And then I got this old ledger. Isn't it awesome? And um, there's some pages where part of the page has been cut out. I'm guessing to privacy sake. I don't know. Um, other books I got. This one. It's sort of a Dick and Jane kind of a style. This one is not very old, but what I liked about it was it has these um, acetate images. So you can, see. yeah, I'm not sure how I'll use this yet, but I thought the uh, acetate images were cool. This one is really neat. The Ladies' New Medical Guide. It's a big one. And 
as you can guess, it's all lady parts, diseases of the fallopian tubes, etc. Uh, so this is turn of the century, I believe. Let me double check. I love the type page. Uh, 1903. This is a re sorry, reproduction of Hudson's Bay Company catalog. Imagine finding that. Um, the images at the front, there's a lot of ladies' clothing, children. So that'll be making its way into some of my books. Um, this is a street guide. I think it was, there was a date on here. I want to say it was 19, I want to say it was 1935 or something. I'll have to look. Um, I know I saw a date. This one is, uh, Another oldie but moldy. Don't see a date there, but uh, I like the cover. This one I have no idea what it's about, but I like the cover for maybe a Christmas journal. And I don't know. It uh, looks like, oh, what was that? Merry Christmas. It looks like it's mostly Christmas type stories. This is making me crazy. I want to open it. For Mummy. Love Dopey Daughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's all Christmas. Uh, 1925. I want to look at this picture. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Um, I got these two little envelopes, and I think they were they were for holding negatives because there's some negatives in here. I just got the two of them. This little purse thing is um, handmade. Uh, and I think it was probably for holding handkerchiefs, for storing handkerchiefs. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with it, um, but it was irresistible. And it has sort of a waterfall effect. Not sure. Got some old graph paper, and it is already good and yellow for me. Some more graph paper, also very aged. Um. This is a uh, great women paper dolls. So it has famous women in leadership and science, art, history. Some of them have been colored, but hey, there's what's your face? Amelia Earhart. <laughs> ah, Hungarian cookbook. This one you've seen a hundred times before. I've gotten copies from like 1976 or something, but this one is 1941. So that is awesome. Got some, oh, I got this cute little tin. Isn't that a nice color? Um, also this tin and cookie cutters. Most of them are kind of Christmassy, but look at these ones with the little red handles. Aren't they cute? Got this Christmas tree cuddle bug um, embossing card folder for 50 cents. Um, I love this old tin. I paid almost nothing for it. And it's full of vintage buttons. <sighs> Big old flashcards with green print. 
Um, I got this sewing box. I've already emptied all the guts out of it, which is what I showed you earlier. But it's in good shape. Um, I, uh, these ones I'm kind of, I don't know about. So they're plastic letters from signs. And there's different sizes and colors and what have you. I'm not sure if there's a way I can use these or not. But let's give it a shot, eh? Maybe some of the smaller ones. I don't know. Here's an exclamation point. This is, um, it folds out to a yardstick and it came from a grants. Known for values in sewing notions. Isn't that cool? Uh, this is a bunch of old sewing notions. That's a beautiful color. And some things I got just for the box. Lots of threads down there. Stuff. These will be going into um, bags for my shop down in uh, Cambridge. Uh, I got these work, old 1950s work basket magazines. There's quite a few there. And then I got a ton of old vintage sewing patterns. Some of them are in pretty rough shape, but some of them are good. What's this guy doing? Out golfing in his pajamas. Um, that's a good nice one. You don't see boys very much. This one's called Day and Night. And there's some, you know, designs for embroidery, hot, hot iron designs. And then the thing I was most excited about was all of this um, stationery. I have to move this way so you can get it all in from a, a defunct travel agency called Fleur de Lis. And of course it has this little Fleur de Lis on it. So these, there's some, some luggage tags, not very many. And then these are all, these are all paper. So I guess this is for your itinerary. I don't know. But I got several of those. And then these are all index cards, but they're each printed, they're white on the back, but they're each printed with um, you know, how to you know, keep track of who's paid what and what have you. And then onion skin letterhead. There's quite a bit of that. Um, and then there's just letterhead. And then I have a whole box of envelopes. So that was a really great find for me. Anyway, so that was my um, estate sale haul. Um, hope you enjoyed it and we'll talk to you soon.